I started this project a long time ago, like last summer, I think. I, I shared the design process on my Instagram. I'll put a link down in the description if you wanna check that out, but I, I never got around to actually building the speakers. This idea stemmed from my preference for skinny enclosures, but also from my constant want for great sound. Uh, and not really an easy combination. <laughs> It's hard to get deep bass from a small three inch driver, but you can't really fit a five inch woofer on the front of a skinny enclosure. The solution to this, and I'm, I'm definitely not the first to do it, is to put the larger woofer on the side of the enclosure where there's more space. Uh, the direction of the driver starts to matter less and less as you go down in frequency, so you can actually get away with something like this and still have the setup sound nice and full. I can't say it wasn't without its own challenges though. Hey everybody, I'm Kirby, this is Kirby Meets Audio, and today we're gonna build a side-firing speaker setup. And this video is sponsored by Storybox. Storybox Audio is your one-stop shop for royalty-free stock audio. You can get unlimited downloads from studio-quality audio clips, loops, music tracks, and sound effects with your membership. All content is royalty-free, so you can use it for commercial or personal projects like YouTube videos. I've been using Storybox Audio a lot recently, from my short build videos on Instagram and Facebook, Facebook, uh, to the intro music for Jen and I's new podcast. They offer a wide range of audio from sound effects to loops to full length tracks. Uh, I found a bunch of stuff over there that really works well with what we're doing here. And I think it might be a great source for your creative projects as well. If you happen to be starting your own podcast, YouTube channel, or if you just make music or anything creative, I suggest checking them out. Uh, click the link down in the description to learn more about Storybox Audio. All right, now let's start the build.
These speakers are meant for a small room, like a living room or a listening space, like the studio here. So I'm really happy with the way they sound. The PS95s do a great job on the highs, and the side-firing woofer rounds out the bottom end nicely for a small pair like this. And it's a pretty unique design. If you're interested in building a pair of speakers of your own, head over to kmakits.com for some more resources on how to do that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya.